Miss Hannah from the Rocky Mountain Koi Club for bringing our new Japanese showfish in that we're going to be growing out as part of the contest. So watch your step there and I'll help you get in the door. Just watch your step. Welcome. Pretty. Okay. Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Q, also known as Dr. Koi, as you're about to find out, because this summer, very exciting news, we have just been given a Japanese show fish. It's so amazing. So this fish actually was hand-selected in Japan, flown to New York, then transported to Colorado by the Rocky Mountain Koi Club, who was so kind to save a fish for me so that I could be a part of their rollout competition. So what that looks like is you get a baby fish. This fish is about two years old, and all the members of the Koi Club are going to do their very best to grow the most beautiful, amazing, big koi fish this summer. And then we're gonna all bring our fish to the big koi show at the end of August. And at that koi show, Everybody's gonna get judged by actual judges from Japan that are coming over to evaluate these fish. I'm so excited and so grateful to the Koi Club for letting me participate in this. We have never done a grow out before. So I'm very excited about seeing how what we feed here versus what everybody else feeds. So what we're gonna be doing is a combination of fresh foods, quinoa, brown rice, tofu. Of course, no fish is gonna be happy without some Honey Nut Cheerios. We have some fresh pineapple. I have some baby food, different kinds here. So we're gonna get lots of antioxidants and fresh vitamins and everything that is good, healthy, fresh food instead of using packaged meal food. And so we'll see how it all works out. We're really excited. We're naming the fish Keiko in honor of Keiko the orca that played Free Willy in the movie from back in the day. There's a wonderful book about orcas called Killing Keiko that talks all about the saga of that orca. And so out of respect for that, we are gonna honorarily name this koi fish Keiko. So please follow along this summer as we give you updates about Keiko. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and release this fish into the pond. So this fish just traveled uh, quite far from Northern Colorado here to the hospital. Uh, it's been a little bit agitated for sure. So it's been a very, very busy day for this poor fish who had to be a uh, part of the koi club's um, big uh, event today where they had a speaker, a uh, very well respected uh, koi fish expert, Sean McHenry from California, came out here. Some of you guys might know him, and he came here to help the koi club to um, help all these fish get to their new owners who are going to be helping grow them out this summer. And here we go, we're going to go ahead and release Keiko into our tank here at the hospital. Very gently, of course. Go. Oh, there we go. So this particular kind of fish, a black and white koi fish, is called a shiro itsuri. And uh, actually my favorite kind of koi fish because they do look like little mini orcas. So I'm very, very excited. I've never had a shiro itsuri before. Um, usually because we are getting rescue fish and people are not usually having uh, shiro itsuris especially Japanese uh, show quality ones uh, that are in need of rescue and new homes. So I'm really, really ecstatic to be given uh, the honor and privilege of taking care of this beautiful fish and it'll be amazing to watch um, over the summer as this fish uh, grows and develops, um, especially um, here in the hospital with us feeding uh, primarily fresh foods. So it should be a really cool experience. So I hope you follow along and uh, then join us at the Rocky Mountain Koi show in the end of August where Keiko will be traveling to with any luck and competing in the show. So hey, good Monday morning to everybody. It is April 22nd. Keiko, our Japanese koi fish, has been here for um, 
about 48 hours. She's not had anything to eat yet. Um, we do did put a new friend in there with her, this other little koi that we have so that she's not alone. Now, what we're going to be doing with her today is weighing her because we are spending a lot of time with the team today talking about um, what her diet is going to be like um, and getting her where we can hand feed her. But first, unfortunately for her, we do need to catch her and get her weighed. So let's pause the video for just a moment. And so that, okay, so that only took a couple of extra seconds to get her. And so now what we're gonna need is um, our bowl that we were using to transport before we move her over to the scale. It's okay, girl. So as all good fish people know, you don't ever wanna lift a fish in a net. You always wanna put them in a bowl. Perfect. Then if you want to grab that for me, we'll bring her right over here. Then maybe you can come around behind me and then that way you can see what ends up being on the scale for her weight today. Her first weight. Oh, she's strong. It's all right, baby. It's okay, girl. Just want to take your time and be gentle. Three, two, one. Point six six. That, we'll just look at her, do a quick physical exam. Just look at her beautiful coloring. Make sure everything looks healthy with her, no concerns. And then we're gonna put her right back. Okay, so that was her first weigh-in. Uh, keep up with us. We're going to be doing weekly weigh-ins to see how she gains weight on the homemade diet that we're going to make for her right here. Okay, everybody, now we know Keiko weighs 10.56 ounces. So we're, our goal is going to be to feed her 2 to 4% of her body weight. And so what I've done is we have a meal that's been made up for her right here. And we have this uh, teared down it's our container so that um, it starts at zero. So we're going to try to get point two ounces of food into her. So first I'm gonna start with just some of the romaine lettuce, which obviously doesn't weigh very much. And then we're gonna add some of the tofu to that. So we've got 0.18 so far. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of uh, rice and lentils and quinoa, just enough. 0.2. So here we are at 0.2. So in an ideal world, this is what we would get her to eat every single day. So that's going to be our goal is to get a little Keiko here. We'll see if we can do it. This seems like an awful lot of food to try to get this little fish to eat um, every day. So we just tried hand feeding this fish for the first time. And we're going to always do our hand feeding over here in this far corner because it's far enough away from the filter. Of course, these fish are scared. She's scared. She hasn't been around us before um, and or been in this container for very long. Um, and so she's not familiar with eating fresh food. She's probably been fed only pelleted food. So that's something that's going to take a few days for her to get the hang of it. One of the things that's going to be helpful is this other little fish that's in there has been eating fresh food. So hopefully that fish will help teach her that this is edible and to go ahead and eat that. And I also want to show you this is so exciting. And we think we know what happened and what she was busy doing over the weekend because she certainly looked like she lost a little bit of weight just since we've had her in the last 48 hours. And if you look down here, there are eggs all over these things that we have here that we put in here to let them have a place to hide and get um, some protection from being just right under the public eye all the time. So this little mat here is totally covered in fish eggs. So super exciting, but Keiko already had eggs for us since she's been here in less than 48 hours. And I'm gonna have a bunch of eggs. tuning in and if you're interested in koi fish and all things that has to do with aquatic animals definitely subscribe here your subscription to this channel helps all kinds of animals and we are so appreciative of that and uh, we are here to help you have the most amazing relationship 
with all of the animals in your life, including the little fish. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you right here next time.